I'm thinking of doing an experiment, uh, doing trying to make ten thousand dollars per month with something that I've absolutely never done before, a business model where I have absolutely no skills in because I have a little bit of free time right now. I'm looking to get a new client. I was going over that in a recent video of Russell Brunson, but the way that I would do it is I would arbitrage a labor. And this is very tough right now because the job market is super tight and people aren't hiring. My main skill set is I can close any deal. And if I get on a call, let's say if I apply for a hundred jobs and I get a call with, let's say five of them online virtual jobs, I am incredibly confident that I can close the job because I know what to say because I know what employers are looking for because I am an employer. So, and I talk to people who literally have hundreds of employees every single day. So that this is how I would do it if I had no skills. Uh, I think this would be a fun challenge too, where I would be looking online for virtual jobs, let's say making, it doesn't really matter, 20 to and, and anything over $15 an hour. I would be looking for jobs online and on every single possible platform. I would set up a LinkedIn account. I would set up everything because I know that employers actually look at your LinkedIn. And I know that because Kenny, the guy that I work for right now, he's a full guy who's at his entire job is to hire people for his company. What he does is he sees the request for the job board. And then he looks at their LinkedIn, sees if past employers recommends them, all, everything. Honestly, I would fake everything. And I'll show you guys how, how I would do it. If I was simply looking to make some quick, pretty easy, pretty efficient money, because I, I, I think I could do it. <laughs> uh, and I might just be an arrogant prick, which is why I would try it first. Uh, I think in this environment, if this was two years ago when anyone was hiring absolutely everybody, but I, I would walk you through my thought process. So since I'm very experienced in hiring people in the Philippines and I have a lot of connections in Colombia because George Gammon, someone that I work with, he also he has an entire team in Colombia. And if I just ask his team, hey, do you know anyone for exposition? Every single one of them would know somebody dependent on the time zone. So I have a multitude of of places where I could arbitrage labor, hire someone for five bucks an hour, pocket the 15. And if I could get 10 jobs, I could have 10 different people doing those 10 jobs for five to $8 an hour. And I would be making 15 to $20 an hour pocket in the spread. And then I would hire a manager to manage all the employees. Then all I would have to do is go on some sort of important call once in a while, which <laughs> so I, I would just try and stay under the radar. <laughs> I mean, this is a messed up way to make some money. It really is. But I think it would be possible because of the world that we live in, because employers care about one thing. Do you get the work done? And if you hire people who do the work, it doesn't really matter. They're fine paying you because they're still making profit on you. And I would just be arbitraging it to somebody else. That being said, this is a very difficult environment to do this in because it's a very tight job market, but I still think it's very possible. And if I had absolutely no skills, I would just apply for every single virtual job humanly possible. And then I would find a way to find someone else to do that for me, if it's possible. Obviously, there's going to be some jobs where you can't do that. You need some sort of degree or something. I just wouldn't apply for those jobs. I could just be spitting out my ass here. This could be completely impossible. I don't think it is, though. I think if you have no skills, you could do this. Well, you would have to gain some skills of learning how to hire people, learn how to communicate in these interviews, learn how to get the job, learning how to make sure you're, the people that you hire is actually doing the right job because you, you maybe get the job, but then you get fired in a week. But I think you could manage to have 10 jobs at a time. Maybe that's illegal. I don't know. If it is, then completely disregard absolutely everything I just said. I'm just saying as a possibility, as a way to make some money, if you have no skills, it would not be as easy as just, Ooh, apply for these jobs, get them and hire people to do it. I mean, nothing is that easy. There's a lot of complexity that comes in this. And whenever you think you're finding an easy way to make money, I promise you, you're not. But I know someone who's pretty big in real estate, who goes to one of the masterminds that I go to. He is a very young guy. He's like 32, 33. He has a huge real estate portfolio. He lives in California and he still has a very, very, very high paying tech job. And what he does is he has one person that helps him one, one, and then he does some work himself. He says he's done with work. He wakes up at 6am, works from six to eight, and also has someone that helps him work on that. And he's done in two hours what it takes the rest of his team eight hours to do because he's more efficient because he'd hired someone to help him. And then he spends all day running his real estate business. 
why couldn't someone just do this type of work on mass scale? Let's say you work an hour a day on each job, helping manage uh, the person that's actually running it for you. And then you could have eight to 10 jobs. Let's say each one's paying you 50 grand a year. You'd be, that's how you could quickly make 500 grand a year. If it is legal, I don't know if it is. I'm just spinning on my ass because I don't really know what to talk about today. Uh, <laughs> if I'm being honest, I just think it's possible. And I might try a social experiment trying to do it unless my workload picks up a ton. I'm hoping it doesn't, but I'm looking for something to do because I'm kind of bored. I'm looking for a way to reach out to Russell Brunson. If you watch that video, I said, I think it was called predicting my future, uh, something like that, because I predicted my future for the next few months. I'm going to find a way to work for him. And I went over my plan as to how I'm going to do that. I am also thinking of, there, there's one person, my buddy Luke, we're in a very similar business model and we talk, we just send voice messages to each other, probably 10 two minute voice messages to each other every single day, going back and forth, bouncing ideas. He's going to make a school community that's free. And I think we're just going to do the same thing and just put it out there for free where we, we will just show you guys what we're talking about, how we're planning on expanding our businesses, what we're doing to improve each other every single day, because you need someone who is brutally honest with you. And that's for me, that person is Luke. We constantly are exchanging ideas, trying to make the work that we're doing better every single day. So I think that he's setting that up. Uh, I, I know that he's doing it for free, but if he ever charges, screw you, Luke, then I'll just make one for free. I, I don't need, I don't know too much about school. I know Alex or Mosey invested a bunch of money into it, but he said we could just send those same voice messages back and forth. And I guess other people could also send voice messages in, which would allow us to comment on what other people are doing. If it gets too big, then I wouldn't want people, I mean, I would feel obligated to reply to every single message and I wouldn't want to. So then we might just make it so only me and him can talk and people can listen to how we're game strategizing. I'm just spitballing here. If you guys would, or anybody, it doesn't really matter. I know he, uh, Luke Mick, Mickick, M-I-C-I-C or M-I-C-I-K is his YouTube channel. He's a freaking Bitcoin diehard. So excuse yourself when you click on his channel. He's just, uh, it's hard to watch sometimes. Luke, sorry, buddy, just busting your balls. But if anyone would want to join that, I will let you know the details when it is out.